Hello and welcome to Fizz 1211 Energy and the Environment. My name is Christine Lindstrom and I will be your lecturer for the first half of this course. The second half will be taught by my colleague Michael Ashley. In this little introductory video, I will tell you about the content of the course, the assessment of the course, the teaching methods used in the course, and what you should do in week zero. Let's start with the content of the course. The course is divided into two parts, where, as mentioned, I will teach the first half. In this first half, there are three parts. Part one is about energy and about converting energy into useful forms of work. Now, in this part of the course, we will specifically look at how heat can be converted into work because this is the foundation for how car engines work, how fossil fuel plants work and how nuclear power plants work. In the second part of this first half of the course, we will look into carbon-based energy and fossil fuels. Here we will look at energy in plants and animals and we'll delve deeper into fossil fuels. In particular, we'll look at how they're created, where they are found, how fossil fuels are extracted, how they're used, and the importance of fossil fuels to modern day societies. In the last part of the first half of the course, we will look at energy and the environment in a world dominated by fossil fuels. We'll look at how we generate electricity from fossil fuels, and we'll also look at the consequences of fossil fuel use, particularly in terms of pollution and climate change. The second half of the course, taught by Michael Ashley, will cover alternative energy sources, such as solar, wind, hydro and nuclear. The TED-Ed video shown below nicely covers the, these main topics that are in the course and show how they all relate as a little bit of a teaser. The assessment of this course is made up of three parts. Part one are labs. They count for 30% of the course. Part two are quizzes and they refer to two quizzes, one that will come at the end of the first half and one that will come at the end of the second half of the course. And lastly, there, are, there is the exam at the end of the course, which counts for 50% of the There will be two different teaching methods used in this course. The second half will be a relatively traditionally taught course, but the first half of the course will use a teaching method that many of you may not be familiar with. I will use a teaching method called flipped classroom. Flipped classroom means exactly what it sounds like. We are flipping the classroom. Now, what does that mean? Well, in a traditional course, you will first come to lectures and get your first exposure to the material. Then you go home and you work with the material to really try to understand it. In flipped classroom, we do it the other way around. You get the first exposure to the material before you come to class so that when we are together in the lecture, we can really work with understanding the material. The way this is going to work in this course is that you will get pre-work before every lecture. The pre-work consists of three parts. Part one are the learning goals. The learning goals tell you exactly what you are expected to learn from the lecture. Then there are resources. The resources give you access to the information that will help you achieve the learning goals. And lastly, there is a pre-lecture quiz. Now this pre-lecture quiz consists of seven questions. Four of them are on the material itself and three of them are more general. Now note that this quiz is called a formative assessment. It is not counting towards your final grade in the course. So you might ask, well, why should I do something if it doesn't count towards a final mark? Well, there are three reasons for it. 
The first reason is that by working through the questions in the pre-lecture quiz, you get immediate feedback on whether you have understood at least parts of the material that you have worked through before the lecture. Secondly, it gives me very important information about what you guys in class have understood and what you found difficult working through on your own. I will use this feedback to create the lecture. And that means that I will not have pre-created a lecture that's stock standard for just anyone. I will tailor make the lecture for you in the class based on what you tell me is difficult through what you find it difficult to answer correctly in the pre-quiz and also what you tell me explicitly you want help with understanding. I will make the lecture on the day of the lecture. So that means that it's important that you complete the pre-work quiz by the night before class so that I get a little bit of time to go through the results and prepare for the lecture. Now there's a third reason why you should do the pre-work quiz and that is because in quiz one, which is one of the summative assessments that do count towards your final mark, I will choose half of the questions from the pre-lecture quizzes. So if you have done all the pre-lecture quizzes, then you are already well prepared for quiz one. Now, when you come to class, we will do a couple of different things. I will give some mini lectures on concepts or problems or ideas that you have told me that you want help with. We will also be working with the material through quiz questions. So I will post questions that all of you will answer in class and then we will work on those questions. If you can all do it in class, well, great, you all know it. But if you're still struggling to answer the questions correctly, no problem, then we'll work on that in class. So to be able to answer these questions digitally in class, it's important that you all bring a laptop to class. Now, before we start in week one, there are three things that I would like you to do in week zero. The first of this is to do the introductory quiz called lecture one, what do you already know? You find it below under lecture one quiz. Now this is a quiz that gives me information about what you already know from before. If you know very little about this topic, that's perfectly fine. If you know a lot, well, that's also great. But I want you to do this quiz alone and without doing any preparation, because this works as a baseline so that I know the general state of knowledge that the class has before we start the course. You will also get a similar quiz at the end of the first half of the course to see how much you have learned throughout the first half of the course. Now we do this so that we can see how effective the teaching methods we use in this and in other courses are for learning the particular topic that we're focusing on here, which is thermodynamics. The second thing I would like you to do is to explore the Moodle site so that you become familiar with the site where you can find information and maybe even bring along some questions to the first lecture. And lastly, you will see that the pre-lecture pre-work with pre-lecture quizzes are provided for the first three lectures after the intro lecture. So this will allow you to begin working on the course before the official start of term one so that you move some of the work you have to do in the course to week zero, which takes some of the pressure off before we start in week one. So with that, I look forward to working with you throughout this term and it'll be great to see you 
on Monday of week one.